Christian, good to have you here. Could you say two, two sentences about what you and Dellen and Capital are doing? Uh, thanks. To, nice to be here. We launched ourselves in September 2012 after having raised 200 million euros of equity to invest in prime big box logistics assets in the Benelux and in the UK. Uh, we're looking to create a 10 to 12 total return uh, with good cash on cash distributions year on year. Uh, and we'll be using 50% uh, leverage to create a 400 million euro portfolio. To date, we have uh, acquired 14 assets and uh, 300 million euros, uh, which is split basically 50-50 between the UK uh, and the Netherlands. You are active in, in logistics. In we're, we're purely in focused UK. on logistics. In right. The UK. Is logistics becoming an institutional asset class already? I, I think so. I, I think it is uh, an institutional asset class already. Certainly when I look at the competitors, when we're bidding on things, there are big pension funds, big insurance companies. And that is, uh, logistics still offers a yield premium relative to other asset classes. And I think that is what is driving some of this investor demand. People are simply looking for, for good yields. Um, but the drop in cap rates we've seen in the last 18 to 24 months has been quite remarkable. And I think the only way one could justify that sort of pricing is if one believes uh, in sustained rental growth. Uh, we are not deviating too much in terms of our return criteria. We are looking to buy in seven plus cap rates, which is making it increasingly challenged to find, ch challenging to find value here in the UK. Um, but I think if you look on the continent, that there are some more obvious value opportunities potentially. So what are your, what are your investment criteria? We are looking for a location, you know, prime locations which benefit from multimodal transport, uh, we are really concentrated on s what we call sustainable demand uh, for, for those from, from the occupational side. So anything that's too bespoke for a specific occupier is probably not what we, we would like. We want very standard assets that could appeal to uh, a range of, of occupiers in locations with hard to replicate infrastructure uh, around transport. When we think about logistics, quite often referred to warehouses, especially in the age mm -hmm. of yeah. e-commerce and 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 they are uh, warehouses. E retail yeah. is the warehouse the modern shopping center. Uh, I mean, it's obviously not not quite the same thing to visit. Um, but but in terms of delivering goods to people, of course, e-commerce is continuing to take an ever increasing share of of the retail wallet and. Um, I think there is a, certainly an argument to say logistics is, is the new retail, um, but it will not replace retail. People still, you know, human beings are still social uh, people. They want to go to these destinations. They want to enjoy maybe some leisure activities as they're doing their shopping. So I think what you'll see is that the big, well-located shopping centers will go from strength to strength, uh, the sort of destination uh, shopping, as it were. But then a lot of the kind of smaller, mid-tier, kind of high street type retail offerings may suffer from, from e-commerce. Certainly we feel uh, one of the big motivators for us investing in logistics is that incremental demand that we see coming through from that in increased penetration of e-commerce. Where you already said in the UK it's, it's difficult, it's getting mm. more into getting competitive. Um, yeah. Where do you see the next opportunities? You're looking into Europe, but you're active. Well, the UK is, is competitive, um, we, but it is still a very liquid, deep market. And so whilst it's difficult, there are a whole, there, there are a lot of opportunities to assess, and that is a positive thing. I also think in the UK, there has been no development for about five or six years. And so there are some good opportunities potentially around development. Um, but outside of the UK, you see uh, a slightly more mixed economic picture across Europe and I think there are opportunities to perhaps be a little bit ahead of, of, of economic growth. If, you, if one considers economic growth as the biggest driver of commercial real estate, uh, one wants to then look at economies where the recovery has yet to kick in and yet to uh, filter through into investor expectations and that would then be a good time to buy and then once the rental, well, once the economic growth fall, filters through and people's expectations start to rise, then you'll start to see cap rates moving in that in expectation of that growth. So uh, for us, it's about trying to stay one step ahead of, of the herd, I suppose. Final question, where would you see the, the is, is, is more of a challenge? Is it 
raising capital or is investing it? I think uh, both are, are challenging in, the, in their own ways, but generally I would say raising capital will be more challenging than investing it. Uh, despite <laughs> everything I said earlier, I, I still think there are opportunities to, to go do good deals. Um, but clearly um, getting people to part with their money and, and give them to, to sort of relatively new managers such as ourselves, um, that is probably the bigger challenge. Christian, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.